Timmy Adeoye, Communications Director for the Pennsylvania Young Democrats. Uh, Ro, Timmy, great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so first, you know, we've heard from previous guests that the economy is the biggest issue across the board for Pennsylvania voters. Would you agree? And either way, do you believe that's the case for younger voters in your state? Mm -hmm. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for having me this morning. And I do think uh, that's the case. Uh, we got some great economic news this morning, actually. Um, unemployment is a lot lower than uh, than uh, economics projections uh, had. And I think that is the number one issue that young people are caring about. And I think Vice President Harris has outlined how she's going to be someone that is going to fight for young people in this new economy. Uh, she said that she wants to make sure that we are investing in young people's future so they can buy a home, so they can start families. And I think that's what young people care about. And I think Democrats lead on this economic issue, so we're going to keep talking about it, and I think that's what's actually going to bring us to victory this election cycle. So let's talk about the numbers for just a moment. We have a snapshot here. Um, an NAACP poll in August, it shows more than one quarter of younger black men, they say that they would support former President Donald Trump in this year's election. 26% of black men under 50 said they supported Trump compared to 49% who backed Vice President Harris. Uh, do you believe these numbers are in line with what you're seeing on the ground? And maybe we heard a bit of it there, but what is your message to that 26%? Well, I think, you know, black voters are not a monolith. Um, you know, black voters have many different feelings on many different issues. And I think Vice President Harris understands that uh, no vote is guaranteed and we're wo working for every single vote, whether it's black, white, Hispanic, really anyone. And I think Kamala Harris has a message for young black men that are really thinking about the future. You know, they want to be people that are taking care of their family. They want to be people that are starting small businesses. And Kamala Harris is a plan to make sure that we bring in young black men to this economy. Look, you know, I think that this is something that has been happening for a while. And I think Democrats now are really taking notice to making sure that we're investing in young black men and talking to them about what Democrats can do to make sure that they have a role to play in our economy and the future of our country. You know, as you well know, uh, Ro Timmy, one challenge with the youth vote is while there may be a lot of enthusiasm and we see it out there, uh, turnout is always a challenge. Former President Barack Obama, he's going to be hitting the campaign trail for Harris next week. Um, his first stop actually is in Pittsburgh on Thursday. How much of an impact do you think these appearances will have on voter turnout specifically and then the race overall? I think they're going to have a big uh, effect on voter, voter turnout. I mean, uh, former President Barack Obama is someone in the state that's still very popular, that a lot of people uh, respect. And I think him showing up with Vice President Harris is going to show people that, you know, what people are looking for is leadership. And they're looking for stability. And he brought that to the White House. And I think them campaigning together shows that we want stability restored to our country. So I think it's going to be great. And I'm looking forward to it. And I think a lot of voters are really going to take that as a really good sign uh, that we are returning back to us. Stability and uh, normalcy. I know you've been focusing on Pennsylvania. I I'd love to widen the scope for just a moment and talk about the youth vote all across the U.S. What impact do you think this younger vote will have on the election in 2024 overall? I think young voters are going to have a huge impact on this election. We saw that uh, in the past uh, midterm election cycle. Young people across the country on college campuses came out to talk about how they wanted to make sure the right to abortion was protected, how they wanted to make sure that they had people elected in Congress that believed in democracy and didn't want to change overturn election results. And I think that's what we're going to see this election, young people coming out in droves to make sure that their right to choices on the ballot, and they're going to make sure that's protected, and also making sure we have an economy that works for everyone. And we have elected officials that care about democracy and are willing to overturn the will of the voters. So I think young people are going to play a huge vote role in this election, and their vote is going to be making an impact. All right. We only have about 30 seconds left. But, you know, in this series, we've really enjoyed asking folks why they love living where they do. Uh, what's your favorite aspect of Philly and the state in general? Uh, do cheesesteaks make the list? Well, I think definitely cheesesteaks make the list. But I think also one of the great things about living in Philadelphia is I think there's such a great community of people that care about the city, but also care about each other. You know, that city of brotherly love moniker isn't just made up. It's the truth. Yeah, I've spent time there. I felt it as well. Uh, Ro Timmy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.